Hey guys, we're going at this again. Um, so let me see what's happened. Um, so the past few days I've just been kind of working here at in Germany and have done a few things, but I guess I should really start back on uh on around Sunday when I went to church. Church was awesome. People here are great. Um, <laughs> I everybody spoke German, of course. It was a German ward. They called a ward, but it's really a branch. Uh, and it and it um is about 50 members. I actually had a YSA class. It was pretty cool. Uh, a lot of people my age, everybody spoke English, but, you know, the services are in German because everybody speaks German. Anyway, so I was uh, at church, and um, they had a YSA class, I remember. So I got there, and there's a, uh, a boy standing outside, like 16, 17. Mm, excuse me, got something up going. Anyway, um, there's a boy standing outside the... Uh, he was standing outside the foyer, in the foyer by the chapel, and I asked him, is this where the elders quorum is? He's like, oh, it's the fifth Sunday. We all meet here. So we all went there. And then it was funny because his mom came and sat next to me and made sure, made sure I understood what was going on and stuff. It was funny. But she's really nice. That was uh, Sister Sabina is her name. So if you guys ever come to Germany, look for Sister Sabina. She's cool. And uh, after that, I went to the YSA class which isn't so S, it's more YMA, because uh, of the eight people in that class, six of them are married, and one of them is me. So, <laughs> uh, well, I guess there's, I mean, there's not six, sorry. There's eight people in that class, nine maybe? That Anyway, there's three married couples, and then there's three of us, so nine. Yes, I'm bad at math. Nobody you guys don't hate. Um, and, but they're all really cool, really fun people. Um third hour was was just sacrament meeting it was really cool one of the elders spoke i think he's american because i understood his german very clearly which probably means we have a similar accent uh so that's what makes me think he's english uh rest of sunday didn't really do much i think i worked on learning some angular which is a, a code style that i was learning um let me think what else is there uh next day so monday was actually a holiday here it was labor day uh, I don't remember if Labor Day is when in the States. Maybe it's the same day and I'm just crazy. But, so, uh, it was Labor Day, so we had the day off. I was going to go shopping and stuff, but, you know, darn it, it turns out everything's closed on Labor Day here, too. So, <laughs> I couldn't do anything, really. I just kind of stayed home. I did some martial arts in the backyard, like practiced my jiu-jitsu and my punches and some shadow boxing. And I'm pretty sure I convinced the lady next door that I'm crazy. But uh, I guess I guess the, the 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 woman that owns the house here can just blow it off that crazy American, you know. Uh, but that was fun. Um, Tuesday, okay. So Tuesday was really interesting. Um, I went. Well, I guess we'll start with the easy story first. The simple thing that happened is I went to <laughs> I went to go shopping, right? Because I want to make casseroles so I can save time on cooking tons of food, so that way I don't have to spend time on it every night. And uh, I, I saw there was some uh, some Pillsbury boxes, you know, the Pillsbury Doughboy. And uh, I was like, oh, what are those? And I go over there, and they're biscuits, but in German, written on the uh, on the thing was written uh, American butter bread is what it's called, <laughs> like American butter bread rolls, which is awesome. And I was like, I'm really tempted to get some just to see if they're the same, but I, I decided not to. I didn't have a lot of money. Well, I do have money, but I just need to budget because, you know, be smart and stuff. Uh, so yeah, so that was the funny thing that happened. The crazy thing that happened is, uh, so, so when I got here, right, all the time before I came to Germany, actually, I was talking to a company called N26, which is like PayPal. Well, okay. So they started out like PayPal, Square Cash or Venmo. And, uh, they've kind of, they've actually been certified. They're a full fledged bank now. But before they were just kind of like PayPal or Venmo, just sending money to your friends, basically, right? And what happened was that I I was talking to them. I accepted their internship over email. I didn't sign a contract or anything, but you know I I basically verbally committed. And I get here in Germany, I get an email from the internship coordinator. She says, "Hey, be at this address tomorrow." And I was like, "Okay." So I went there, and it's a uh, it's this company called Axel Springer which is a huge media company over here in Europe. It's worth something like 3 billion, like the, the average annual income is around 3 billion euros. So really, really big company. Um, my arm's getting tired. Dang, I see why people use selfie sticks. Uh, does that work? Okay, cool. So 
Axel Springer, I show up there and uh, it's a cedar company. So what they would do is they'd invest in like these tiny companies and then take just, you know, skim their profits later when they become big. And N26 actually started there. But so I go to Axel Springer, right? And I meet up with these really cool people, Paulina and, uh, and oh, what's his name? Daniel. I don't know why I forget his name all the time. But anyway, so Paulina and Daniel, really cool, brother, sister. Um, and they're starting a wedding app. And you guys should really look into it because I feel really bad about what happened next. Um, <laughs> their, their app, basically, you just create an account. You get a website, a messaging service, uh, an Android, and an iOS app group chats, you, everybody can post their pictures to the website, so that way whatever pictures are taken at the wedding, everybody has access to, super cool. But uh, what happened was, is um, so they expected me to work for them, but so did N26. And so I show up to work and I'm like, okay, so where's this, where's this N26, you know? And they're like, oh, N26 worked here, they were here years ago, you know, doing their thing. I'm like, oh yeah, so I send an email to the N26 people. I say, hey, where are you guys? They're like, where are you? Where are we? Where are you? You're not here. I said, uh, I am. They're like, no, you're not. You're, where are you? I'm like, oh, I'm at a place called Axel Springer. How's your sign on the wall? Switching hands again. I'm like, oh, that's where we started. We now have an office downtown. Uh, how about you come in tomorrow? Uh, after some very long, confusing emails and a lot of talking, I basically found out, found out that uh, both places were interested in me working there. I just had to make a choice. I just hadn't heard of one before. So I, I feel really bad for leaving Paulina and, and Daniel because they really need help because there's five people on the team, including me. Well, I guess four now and then. And uh, they really needed help. But I can't. I just can't back out on the commitment I have with N26. So we. I, I decided to stay with them. And uh, so I had my first day of work today at N26. And it's awesome. <laughs> like, uh, it's super cool. It's it's a uh, it's relatively small business, still only around two hundred people, uh, and but the office is super modern, super cool looking, and they have free drinks and snacks all day. Like you can go, they have fridges full of orange juice, apple juice, uh, Coke, Coke Zero, um, this stuff called Club Mate, which I'll talk about later. And uh, beer, of course, but I, I don't drink that. So And coffee. They have really good coffee, apparently. Um, so this this mate, this club mate stuff, I posted about it on Facebook, so you might have already seen it. But it's like, in Brazil, they drink this like herbal tea called mate. And uh, it's really high in vitamins and in... Man, my arms are tired. Uh, it's really high in vitamins and in caffeine. And so what happened is in Germany, people were drinking Red Bull, but Red Bull is an unnatural source of caffeine. It's blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> I guess some caffeine is better than other caffeine. I, I don't know. But uh, so they decided, you know, we're going to make a better drink for you. So they made this stuff and it's basically mate mixed with sugar. I think some slight flavoring and uh, carbonated. And it's actually pretty good. Uh, when they first offered it to me, I thought they were trying to give me beer. I was like, oh, no, I don't drink. They're like, oh, no, 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 it's, a, it's an energy drink. You don't, it's not it's not alcoholic. It's like, okay, cool. And I taste it and it tastes kind of bitter. I was like, are you sure? It's like, yeah, 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 it's not alcoholic. I was like, okay. So <laughs> I finished a bottle and then the caffeine crash hit me later. So I know it was caffeinated at least. Uh, and so I um, drank that. That was fun. Um, get free meals twice a week, every Friday after the review session. So basically you sit down around like five with your supervisor and they uh, go through the week with you and they say like, Hey, this is what you did good. This is what you did bad. Really nice stuff. But after that, uh, they have pizza for free at the place. So that's pretty dope. And so 7:30, I'm going to get pizza. I'll probably take the subways home on Friday then. So that way I don't have to bike in the dark. I don't know. It depends on how cold it gets. Um, that's another thing. It's always cold like cloudy and cold here like i don't know if it's gonna warm up ever every time i look at the forecast it's always like high of 55 and low of 39 i was like and cloudy and i'm like oh that's great you know like this isn't the summer weather i was expecting but uh, it's pretty nice um let me think what else n26 gave me a new macbook to work on so that's pretty cool uh i don't have to bring my laptop to work um, what else? Two free meals a week. Today was free lunch day, which is cool. Um, let me think what else happened. I don't know. I'm not sure if much else has really happened. Uh, 
I love talking to whoever wants to talk to me, by the way. I, I kind of have a circle of friends, but, you know, for the four or five hours that, that our time zones over, overlap, I'm happy to answer people and talk to them and stuff. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, nobody speaks English. I mean, nobody speaks German hardly at the office. That was something that, that was interesting to me. I worked with two Italians and a Korean today, and I speak the most German out of the three, out of the four of us, I think. <laughs> it was, it was really cool to see them. Um, in case any nerdy uh, coding people are watching, I, if they want to know what languages I'm programming in, I'm programming in mostly JavaScript and React. Um, I learned Node, don't really know how that's going to work into it, but they say uh, it's for the front end development, so we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of other things people have asked, but I can't really think of any. So if you have any questions, hit me up, I'll try to answer them. Um, yeah, so catch you guys next time. Just kidding, uh, I just remembered a few things I wanted to mention real quick, and I ended the video already, so there's probably going to be a jump cut, nobody judge me. Um... I bike to work every day, by the way, which is really fun, actually. It's it's not as bad. It's about 14 kilometers, which I know a 10K is 6.4 miles. So, I don't know. I haven't looked up the difference. I'm assuming it's like seven and a half, eight miles to work every day. It's about 40 minutes or so, um, which it's really not that bad. Like, like, a lot of people are like, what, you bike to work? I was like, guys, like, you realize I have nothing to do, right? Like, I just... I literally work here and then I go home and eat and maybe I'll go to, I can go into Institute tomorrow, by the way, Institute they have here, so I'll go there. Um, but like my social life is pretty lax right now. Um, and something that's kind of funny that happened is that I'm not sure about you guys, but like when, when you open up Google maps and it tells you, oh, it'll take you 20 minutes to get somewhere immediately think, I think, nah, dude, I can get there in 15, like challenge. And I always think of like as a challenge, like Google's like, Oh, you can make the bike trip in 49 minutes. I'm like, 50 minutes? I bet I can do 40. And I did 42 minutes today, I think it was. So suck it, Google. Uh, it was, I don't know. It's just like, I always see the challenge, I guess. And it, it's it's a good workout. I get nice and nasty before work. But they have a shower there, so I can shower and stuff. Um, Yeah. So this time I'm ending the video for real. I think that's the end of everything I wanted to say. No, but okay anyway talk to you guys next time bye